Merci beaucoup. Merci bien, Monsieur le Président. Madame Samasik. And this is Zubakar, who is only going to look at the cameras. Nous allons échanger nos documents devant la cheminée. Et après ça, la famille viendra nous rejoindre pour faire les photos. Merci beaucoup. Alors, si vous voulez, oui. le président et l'ambassadeur, oui. vous allez Madame, President Moussa Traoré asked me to convey to you his personal friendly greetings. Il m'a demandé de vous transmettre les sincères remerciements du gouvernement du Mali et les sentiments d'amitié du peuple du Mali au peuple du au gouvernement des États-Unis d'Amérique. And with the sincere thanks to you of uh, the government of people of Mali and the uh, expressions of friendship and esteem from the people of Mali to the United States. Well, please return my greetings and regards. Je vous remercie, M. le Président. Et nous sommes très heureux d'avoir pu vous aider dans le bon travail que vous faites. Nous sommes très heureux d'avoir pu vous aider dans le bon travail que vous êtes en train de réaliser. C'est très, très gentil. Le peuple du Mali apprécie hautement cette aide. C'est très gentil de vous et le peuple du Mali apprécie votre assistance. Et ce que souhaiterait le président Traoré, c'est de venir personnellement. Le président Traoré voudrait venir à Washington et exprimer ces feelings personnellement. Oui, il serait le plus bienvenu. Merci bien, comme vous êtes. Comme vous êtes tous les bienvenus. Merci bien. President, the Ambassador of Nigeria. Mr. Ambassador, Mr. President, I'm delighted to see you. Well, I brought you greetings from my brand, Baba Gida. Well, please return my very best regards to you. Yeah. And Madame Amadou. Hello. Nice to see you. And their daughter. Hello. 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 And son. Abu Bakr. Hello. Well, why not? Get in the middle here. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Abu, Abu, go, go yeah. on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. to greater cooperation and that the president has charged me well, that I should do all I can to improve it. Well, I have got very many friends here. There are some of them working in your office and coin and uh, I am you know, uh, very much at home. It's a privilege well, to wonderful. serve in this vibrant city, in this vibrant country, the leader of this right. uh, free world. Now, you and I are going over in front of the fireplace and have a picture taken. Thank you very much. And then we're going to have a family come in. Thank you very much. Would you come in and we'll do this again in front of the fireplace here? We have to have George Washington. Oh yes, yes, yeah, right, yeah. Thank you. Well. 
Thank you very much. Yeah. What a great pleasure. It's a great pleasure. Yeah, he sends his very best regards. Well, of course, see you. I'll give you mine. Thank you. Thank you. The Ambassador of Honduras. Mr. Ambassador. Mr. Ambassador. Mr. President. Well, pleasure indeed. Sir. Well, a pleasure to have you here. And I understand that you arranged my visit there in 1982. That is correct, sir. I keep a photograph that I'll keep for the rest of my life of the minute that you were taken out of your escape. Well, I am most grateful. And Mrs. Martinez. Hello And my son, Francisco. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mr. President. Hi, how are you? You and I will go in front of the fireplace, so exchange our papers, and then we will have your family come in and have a family. Yes, sir. We will have that one of 1982. Yes, that's correct, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Honduras is very important to us, and I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to be there. Sir, I'm the United States to us. It's not like they say that we are an instrument of the United States, but it's a country we fully identify with the same way that we identify ourselves with this president. We're democratic partners. Correct. <laughs> uh, I think you should be in the middle. I'm going to join me. <laughs> Well, welcome. We're very, very pleased and honored to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. President, the Ambassador of Yugoslavia. Yes, Mr. Ambassador. Welcome. Pleasure to have you here. And Mrs. Kovacic. Hello there. And their daughter. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. And son. Well, welcome. You and I will go over in front of the fireplace and exchange our papers, and then we'll let the family come in for a family. Thank you, sir. Then we'll do that. Yes, yes. All right, I just. We appreciate Yugoslavia maintaining its independence the way it has. Thank you, Mr. Hope that we can be of any help that we can. Now, <laughs> I think the ladies are in the middle. It's much nicer. How would you like to stay here by me? <laughs> right. Thank you. Well, welcome all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you'll enjoy our. Yes. We're not always this hot outside. <laughs> they hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We're all suffering under it ourselves. Well, pleased to have you all here. Thank you. Please give my regards to your president. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. President, the Ambassador of Israel. Well, Mr. Ambassador, it's a pleasure to meet you. Well, a great pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. And Mrs. Arad. Hello there. Nice to see you. And son, Michael. Hello there. And daughter, you and I will go over in front of the fireplace and exchange papers, and then we'll get the rest of the family. Well, we value very much the relationship that we have and the things in common with your country. I'm very proud of that relationship and, and hope that we can contribute something to bringing about finally peace in the Middle East. I know that effort to strive and to achieve this truth. And with your help and your assistance and your support is a great life. Right. right. Now, and I think if the ladies are in the middle, it's a nicer picture. <laughs>
Yes, Mr. Ambassador, I remember seeing you at the National Prayer Breakfast. Well, we're pleased to have you here, and please give His Majesty our regards. President, he will thus pass his greetings to you and hope to all the best. Well, you and I will go over in front of the fireplace here and have our picture taken. We change our papers. Here we are. Oops. Well, welcome. Great pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. Pleased to have you. This, this is uh, always good to be official. Made the uh, credit. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, I understand that you're based in London. I am based. But you, well, you're welcome here. <laughs> I look forward to. All right. Thank you. 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 proposal to Congress, and Secretary Bowen, who's here with us this morning, was instrumental in putting that package together. And Bob, I see that this week the House will take up quite a different bill than the one that we sent up to the Hill. One thing is clear, we're faced with a major Medicare expansion bill under the 
cover, we call it a catastrophic insurance plan for the elderly. In the year 2000, our experts say that this bill would add almost $8 billion a year to the deficit, the largest new spending program we've seen in some time. But of equal concern to me are the taxes that are buried in this bill that are aimed actually right at our elderly citizens. And to me, that's simply the wrong way to go. And I would like to ask Secretary Bowen to offer his comments on this legislation. Thank you, Mr. President. The bill in the House is a 